All right, and hello, Wildcats. Um, for today, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be starting Rat Packet 2. So we've been working on Rat Packet number one, which if you're still working on that today, that's completely fine. But what you're going to do is you're going to go to Classwork, like always, and click on Rat Packet 2. And today we're going to be looking at the integumentary, muscular, and skeletal systems and how they rely on one another. So remember that word interdependence is talking about how um, two or more body systems can work together. So we're going to be looking at that. Um, so we're going to start with the integumentary system, which remember that's like skin, hair, nails, um, more of the outer stuff, the coverings that help protect you. And then we'll be looking at the muscles. And then we'll be looking at um, how the muscles are interdependent and how the bones and muscles involved in walking are also interdependent. So when we talk about four limbs, we're talking about our arms. When we talk about hind limbs, we're talking about our legs. Obviously rats, they walk on all fours. So here we're talking about the front, here we're talking about the back. So please keep that in mind as you look through this. I will also attach a resource page just like I did last time to help you work through this. So here we've got different muscles labeled on the rat. Here we've got different um, bones. And that's our resource page. And you could also use the virtual rat dissection. So again, if you click on this, if we were dissecting the rat, this is a really um, tough part of the dissection because you have to cut between the skin and the abdominal muscles. And normally what people do is they accidentally cut this open. But if we were dissecting the rat, we would not want that. We would want only their abdomen muscles exposed. And then we would go through and we would look at them. So this is exactly what our rat dissection would have looked like. And then they're going through the different muscles. Um, if you want next, you can click on expose the bones so that you could see the different bones as well. Um, external features are also going to be looking at some of the integumentary stuff. So you can use the virtual rat dissection to help you answer all of the things you need in the packet here. So I will be making this due on Monday um, at midnight. So you will have Monday to work through this. You will have tomorrow to work through this and you will have today. So that's three days to do this. And you can get caught up on any other work that you may have. Um, I tried to make Rat Packet 1 as simple as possible so that I could give you that time to just kind of take a breath and catch up. So if you need any more time, please let me know. Um, but that is going to be our job for the next three days. Um, let me know if you have any questions.